Hello everyone, so today it's very hot here in Seattle, like 90 degrees and all of a sudden I had a craving for purple sticky rice. Well, the bad thing is I won't get to eat it today because it's a two day process, but anyway, so here um, I'm starting with this medium sized pot. Um, the water is boiling right now and then uh, excuse my messy stove top, it's very old. Um, this is what I'm using here to make my rice purple. It says black glutinous rice. And I'll, so if you want your rice to be really purple, um, you put a lot of these. So the more purple you want, the more you want to put this in there. And then here, um, I had about 10 cups of sticky rice in here. So this is only, this is enough for about five adults and with a bit, a few leftovers. Okay, and then I have the uh, pot in here and let me try this. This is about one third full and this pot is size 28 centimeters or whatever they call it. So here, what you want to do is you want to wait until it's boiling. So it is boiling right now. So I'm going to add in the um, purple, the black sticky rice. So here goes one cup. Two cups. So remember, the more purple you want, the more of these you want to put in. So I think I'm gonna. I think that should be good enough because I don't have that much sticky rice. So the more rice you have to soak into the soup um, here, the more purple rice, the more purple black rice you want to use. And then what you do is you simply wait until it boils and kind of keep stirring it so it doesn't stick to the bottom. So what I do is I'll let this boil for about 10 to 15 minutes until the black rice here starts to break up into half and then what you do after that is you wait until the water gets um, cold. You want to wait until it gets cold before you pour it to soak in your rice. So you want to soak it in your rice overnight, your sticky rice overnight. And then if you like a little bit of um, crunchiness to your sticky rice, you could add um, about a cup of this black rice, uh, mix it in with your sticky rice. But if you add too much, then your rice is going to be um, not, I, I suppose, not very sticky. Um, and it'll be too crunchy. Of course, it's always a waste. And we had to throw away so much of this after. Um, I haven't figured out what to do with the leftovers um, after I use the soup yet. But for now, this is all. Usually, I just put it in a compost. So here, this is it. Um, I'll be back after um, the rice is soaked overnight, and when I'm steaming it, I'll film a part of that. So, thank you. Hey, everybody. So the rice has been soaking overnight, um, and this is what it looks like. It doesn't look that purple, but once you cook it and steam it, once you steam it, it'll look a lot more purple. So I'll show you that once it's finished cooking. I'll show you how purple it is. But um, what you see is the black grain here is actually the black sticky rice. So it looks like this right now. It's actually uh, more deeper in person than what it looks like here. So yeah, it looks like this. Okay, so this is the steamer I'm using. I actually got this on Amazon for, I think, around $30. And it's really light, and it's got these really big holes. So you see the holes are 
quite big, so I use this fabric here. Um, this is actually a cheesecloth that my mother-in-law got me. So the cheesecloth, and it makes it really easy. So just put it over the steamer, and you put this in here, and then that's what it looks like. So what you want to do is you want to save um, the water here. You want to save about two cups of it, and then um, when your rice are half cooked, when your, your rice is half cooked, what you do is you turn it over, um, turn over the rice, kind of take a spoon and fluff it, and then add in about half a cup until you equally um, get a good amount of this water in your rice. Uh, the reason you do that is so that your rice is um, nice and soft and not hard even after it's gone cold. So if you don't, when you don't do that, your rice, after it gets cold, it will get kind of hard. So this is the soup. So save two cups of this. Yeah. So later when the rice is cooked, I'll show you what it looks like. Hey guys, so okay, so here it is the finished product of two, two day process. So this is what it looks like. I could make it more purple by adding a lot more black glutinous rice when I was cooking it yesterday in the soup, um, soup or broth or whatever you want to call it. So this is what it looks like and I only just sprinkle the water one time in between. So I flipped it after steaming it for 15 minutes and then, I mean not flip it but fluff, fluff it and then after steaming it for 15 minutes. Um, this is what it looks like. You don't have to sprinkle a lot of water on it because it's been soaked overnight and literally overnight and a whole morning. So the rice is soft enough. And this, these rice are medium grain um, sticky rice. So if you're using long grain sticky rice, um, you might not even have to sprinkle much water in it. So this is what I still have left. I probably just used uh, about a quarter, a quarter cup. Yeah, so more rice you have, the more you use. Um, you just wanted to use sprinkle enough to uh, saturate um, through your rice when you fluff it in the middle of steam. So yeah, so here you go. Um, it's not really, really purple, but it is purple enough. And then you can tell there's the little black um, sticky rice in it, and it looks good and it smells so good so this is natural coloring and the, the reason I really like to use it besides food coloring is that it actually makes the rice smells really aromatic um, so here you go so if you guys have any questions um, or any comments just leave them and I'll get you guys as soon as I can Thank you.